Now, my father came here. He loved the bucolic old stone houses, the rolling hills, the cumulus clouds. He had a romantic feeling, and I still see that quality. But there's another quality to it. I wasn't particularly in, interested in bucolic scenes of cattle being milked and things like that. That's why I, I went to such an odd place as Kerner's to paint. In my case, it's sort of, it is my journal. You know, I'm painting what I know, the people that I know, and I had this, for some reason, this odd thing of wanting to record them and to record them in paint. As a child, I would, you know, the studio up there, the ceilings are high, where he did these murals and whatnot. Everything was bigger than life. Of course, I never knew my grandfather, but, but this house embodies him to me. I mean, he is this house. And I think he would have been a little shocked that I had painted Helga nude up in this building, but that's all right. Christina Olson was a, a friend. I mean, he knew Christina. It wasn't that he thought, here's a woman, a crippled woman, let me create a painting of her in a field. No, neither of us hunt around to find five queer people. It's just that the people we live next to are queer, <laughs> and we're queer too. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the, the interesting thing is I've actually posed for him, and I think a lot of people's impression of Andrew Wyatt, everything's sort of done like this with a brush with two hairs. In fact, there's paint on the ceiling. You've never seen so much water flying, things <laughs> spilling. That's why the work is so strong, because under it is this wildness that's completely out of control, turning upside down, and then finally it's distilled down. That's the very core of what Jamie and I and the N.C. Wyatt have in common, and we believe in it strongly. You look at his seagull's eyes, they're not pleasant looking, they're, they're carnivorous birds, and he gets that quality. Everybody else paints them like doves, he paints them as they are.